The Mark III robot from Megabots is a powerful and impressive giant combat robot designed for competitions and shows in the giant robotics genre. The Mark III has a massive metal body, which is a combination of a strong alloy frame and protective armor. It is flexible and maneuverable enough to handle a variety of combat conditions. The size of the robot varies depending on the specific model, but in general, the Mark III is about 5 to 6 meters tall. The robot is equipped with an advanced system of electromechanical actuators, allowing it to make fast and precise movements. The robot is controlled by a special remote control or through software that allows the operator to control its movements, attacks, and functions. Mark III has a variety of weapons, including huge mechanical arms, capable of lifting and manipulating various objects. It can also be equipped with various types of weapons, including energy swords, rocket launchers, and small arms. In addition to its combat capabilities, the Mark III is a real attraction, capable of attracting the attention of the public at any event. It can perform a variety of acrobatic stunts, show off its strength and flexibility, and engage in epic battles with other robots. The Method 2 robot, developed by Hankook Murray Technology, is an impressive and powerful giant robot. It is a two-legged mechanical structure that visually resembles a human and evokes associations with robots from sci-fi movies, which is not surprising, since the machine was designed for Hankook Murray Technology by a specialist who previously worked on the Terminator, Robocop, and Transformers movie series. Method 2 has an impressive height and mass, reaching about 4 meters in height and weighing about 1.5 tons. Its body is made of durable metal materials, which gives it high strength and protection. He is able to move, raise and lower his arms, turn his head, and perform other actions that give him human-like mobility. According to the creators, the world's first Fightful Man robot is designed to work in extremely dangerous areas where people cannot reach personally. And yet at least one person will have to be in these extremely dangerous areas, as he sits in the robot's cockpit. Method 2 is controlled by a pilot from inside through a special cockpit located inside its body. Overall, the Method 2 robot is an impressive and technologically advanced mechanical design. Hankook Murray Technology spent $200 million on the robot, but it's worth noting that it looks impressive. The Titan robot, developed by Cyberstein Robots, is an impressive representative of modern robotics. Titan was created to perform a wide range of tasks, from industrial operations to entertainment performances. The robot has a massive and durable body made of high-strength metal materials, providing it with high strength and protection. Its dimensions and weight may vary depending on the specific model, but in general, Titan is quite large, with a height of 3 to 4 meters. He is able to walk, turn, raise and lower his arms, and use various tools and devices depending on the specific task. Titan is partly controlled by the movements of the operator inside and partly by a remote team behind the scene. The operator can control its movements, attacks and functions, and program it to perform tasks offline. The Titan from Cyberstein Robots also has impressive looks and aesthetics, making it attractive for entertainment as well. He is able to perform acrobatic stunts, demonstrate his strength and flexibility, and interact with the audience. But would you mind taking your hands out of your pockets? I'm providing the entertainment around here, not you. <laughs> Super Godzilla Robot The craving for robots among the Japanese is indestructible. Even the garbage and demolition vehicle is styled accordingly and given the formidable name of Super Godzilla. The robot weighs more than 15 tons, and its height is almost 5 meters. It has a rugged metal body, two industrial arms to cut and crash materials, and rugged truck wheels to get around any terrain. The robot was developed by Taguchi Industrial. Super Godzilla is a powerful and high-tech machine capable of performing various tasks with amazing efficiency and accuracy. At San Diego Comic-Con 2013, Wired Magazine showcased an unusual creation, a robotic cosplay with a 3D printed face. The robot, called Mech, was created by Stan Winston and Legacy Effect in 24 days. To make this feat possible, the developers created the robot's face using an Object 500 Connex 3D printer. The result is amazing, and it's a great proof of the usefulness of 3D printing in these types of projects. This robot is a high-tech mechanism that embodies advanced engineering and artistic solutions that remain relevant to this day. Japan is ahead of the rest in the development of robotics. It was here that the first real large robots of mass consumption appeared. The Karatas robot was no exception. 
Curatus is a robot mecha suit. Its size is about 4 meters and it moves on a diesel engine. The robot can be purchased for $1.35 million on the Japanese Amazon. It was first shown in 2012. The robot has an incredibly impressive appearance, just like in science fiction films. The pilot controls the mechanism from inside the cabin with a touchscreen and two joysticks, which are responsible for Kurata's arm movements. It is also possible to control Kurata's not from the cockpit, but simply from the control panel. The robot is equipped with two rocket launchers and two rotary machine guns. The rocket launchers are working, they can shoot fireworks or plastic bottles, but the machine gun's performance has not been demonstrated in any way, although it is said that the rate of fire is 6,000 bullets per minute. The Turkish company Letvision built a robot transformer Letron. When folded, the transformer is a BMW car, which is controlled by remote control. On command, Letron can unfold into a humanoid robot with arms, legs, and head. Unfortunately, it is not possible to be in the car, either at the wheel or in the passenger seat. There is simply no space for a human in the cabin. Letron is far from the transformers from the movies. It has no weapons, it can't walk, and the car version rides very slowly but the robot can produce smoke and shine with headlights. It took Letvision eight months to create the Transformer. Twelve engineers and four assistants worked on it. The price of the Transformer is not reported, but it is known that the Turks offer several options for models, and there is also a choice of colors. In 2018, a little-known company Furian presented at the International Exhibition CES its first-ever exobionic robot called Prosthesis. The robot weighed more than three and a half tons, and you had to climb four and a half meters to get inside it. Exobionic in the description of this robot means that in fact prosthesis is an exoskeleton, which is connected to a live person. He also controls all the functions and movements of this giant mechanism. The creators are confident that the prosthesis will go anywhere if the pilot doesn't screw up. Today the prosthesis is the flagship invention that launches a whole new human experience, mechanized robot racing with live pilots inside. The robot has a maximum speed of 18 miles per hour. The robot's running time ranges from 30 to 120 minutes. A group of crazy engineers from Micromagic Systems have created a huge robot called Mantis, which looks like a huge spider. The robot is designed to transport people. The resulting sample has rightly earned the definition of the world's largest all-passing hexapod robot. The weight of the robot is 1,900 kilograms, its height is 2.8 meters, and it is powered by a 2.2-liter turbodiesel Perkins engine. Mantis has many different sensors, including force sensors, angle and tilt sensors, and an inclinometer to help him walk. To coordinate movement, the robot uses Hex Engine, a Linux-based PC, which controls the movement of 18 hydraulic actuators installed in the legs. An additional computer panel located in the cab allows you to control the robot. Which robot from this video did you like the most? Share your opinion in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the Karo Show channel. Also watch our previous videos. Goodbye.